This is a demonstration of the Allegro Graph triple store browser known as Gruff. This first video is a quick overview to demonstrate what Gruff can do, and then later videos will tell you step by step how to actually do particular things. Gruff has three views for browsing a triple store in various ways. This is the graph view, which displays selected triples as a set of connected nodes and links. The table view shows all of the objects that are connected with some particular object. And the query view allows you to do a Sparkle query. Now you can build a visual graph similar to this one incrementally as you browse through a triple store. For example, if I begin with a blank display, I can add an initial node for the resource whose label is Terry Jones. I can then add additional nodes that are linked with Terry Jones by particular predicates. In this example, I've already requested the director predicate and the starring predicate. So these are some films that Terry Jones either directed or starred in. And the dashed line actually means both. Now if I select a film and add the nodes for those same predicates that are linked with that film, this reveals some other actors who are in that same film. Then continuing in the same manner, we can discover that Nicole Williamson was in these other films, including Hamlet, which also featured these actors. Now Marianne Faithful, for example, was in Marie Antoinette. And it so happens that this film also featured Steve Coogan, who was already on the display. And so that completed a cycle in the visual graph. Now if things get a little bit messy with the layout due to a series of incremental updates to it, then you can redo the layout from scratch, which usually results in a cleaner arrangement. Now, if I double click on this film, Return to Oz, that takes us over to the table view, which shows everything that we know about this film. In the table view, you can browse through a sequence of objects in the usual hyperlink way. For example, this film also featured Gene Marsh, who was also in the film Upstairs, Downstairs, with David Langton, who was also in the film Quintet. And now, if we go back to the graph view, we'll see that it added a series of nodes and links for the path that we just browsed through over in the table view. And also in the table view, I could pick particular nodes that I'd like to add to the graph view directly. If we go back to the graph view, here we see them in the layout. All this shows that we can use the graph view and the table view together to get a good feel for some of the relationships in a triple store. Okay, the third and final view is the query view. Here I've specified a Sparkle query, which I can perform by clicking the Do Query button. This basically reveals some actors who are in one film with Natalie Wood and in another film with Paul Newman. I could, for example, select Joanne Woodward to display her in the table view and continue browsing from there. Or back in the query view, I can do a special thing. Uh, using this button here, I can generate a new visual graph from scratch that includes all of the nodes and predicates from this query. So if I click that, then here we have a graph for the query that we just did. So the query view is a particularly fast way to generate a visual graph. Well, that's about it for the quick overview. If you are sufficiently intrigued, then please proceed to the remaining videos that tell you step by step how to actually do particular things.